Proszę Państwa, dzień prawyborów do władz lokalnych w Nowym Jorku zbliża się wielkimi krokami. No właśnie, to już jest przyszły czwartek i z tej okazji tydzień temu, czy właściwie w tamtym tygodniu gościliśmy w naszym studiu Krzysztofa Lechowskiego, który ubiega się o stanowisko przewodniczącego dystryktu 50 obejmującego Greenpoint, Williamsburg i uh, Fort Green w Nowym Jorku. A dzisiaj naszym gościem jest Lincoln Wrestler, kandydat pana Olechowskiego, który już to stanowisko obejmuje od e, dwóch lat. Welcome to our show. Thank you so much. Lincoln, you, you are already running for a second term as, Demo as Democratic District Leader. What draws you to, po to the politics at the such young age? <laughs> well, I'm, I, I can tell you that I'm a little bit older than I look. I'm already 28, so, but, <laughs> but I'm a young man indeed. And I originally got involved in local politics working for President Obama back in 2007 and 2008 and encouraging people in Brooklyn and all across the country to, to get involved in the political process. It's been a wild ride for a couple of years in Brooklyn politics, but I've been having a lot of fun. And I really do believe that the greatest way that we can make a difference in our community is through the political process. And we all need to get involved and get engaged in our community. You've already fought for a couple of very important things uh, in Greenpoint, especially for a green space, uh, for the extension of the G train, for the after school programs to stay at PS 34 and PS 110, which are schools uh, heavily attended by uh, the Polish uh, children from the Polish schools. Um, you have a couple of more accomplishments on your record. Uh, what is it that you're going to focus on in the next two years if you want? Yeah, I have, I've worked as hard as I can for the community in Greenpoint over these last two years. And we've, you know, I, I don't receive a salary for the work that I do, but I work mornings and evenings and weekends to try and be a strong advocate for the neighborhood. And my big priorities for the next two years are firstly to make sure that the 19 and a half million dollars that we're receiving from ExxonMobil are invested in smart ways throughout our community and that we're really able to address the environmental problems that we face in Greenpoint. Mm -hmm. And secondly, we need more affordable housing in the community. That is a big priority for me, especially senior housing for the community in Greenpoint so that Greenpointers can always call Greenpoint home. You're fighting for a new de democratic party and you're fighting against corruption. Can you s expand on that a little bit? You know, despite Brooklyn being such a progressive and democratic place, we have a lot of corruption in our local politics. Three of the last four leaders of the Brooklyn Democratic Party have been indicted on charges of corruption. And the current party boss, Vito Lopez, is facing five different federal investigations for corruption. This is not the kind of politics we deserve. This is not the kind of politics we need. We need elected officials with integrity. And unfortunately, my opponent, his campaign headquarters, are in the offices of Vito Lopez. And I don't think that we want elected officials who are loyal to the machine boss. We need elected officials who are loyal to our community. As we know, Greenpoint is changing heavily uh, when it comes to demographics. The old-term residents are mixing with uh, students, yuppies who are drawing to Greenpoint, and Greenpoint is becoming sort of like an extension of uh, Manhattan. What happens is the old-term residents have to move out very often. Businesses are um, uh, moving to different uh, neighborhoods as well. Is this an inevitable uh, phenomenon or it can something be done maybe to uh, help the residents stay and, and be able to uh, stay in Greenpoint? This is the most important issue in Greenpoint today. How do we keep the neighborhood affordable? I'm from Brooklyn all my life and my family originally came from Poland to Brooklyn over a hundred years ago and making sure that the neighborhood remains affordable to working families is the single most important priority for me. So how do we do it? One, we preserve the existing affordable housing we have. Working with services organizations, we need to be educating and empowering tenants so that they know their rights and that we don't allow landlords to force tenants out. Two, we need to develop more affordable housing for the community. And three, with all of the new businesses and development happening in the neighborhood, we need to make sure that neighborhood residents are accessing local jobs. Because if people in the community have quality work opportunities, then we have the resources to stay. And yes, the gentrification process is bigger than any one of us, but when we're looking at things at a neighborhood level, at a block level, at a family level, we can make a difference and we can make sure that Greenpointers remain in Greenpoint. That's what we want to see. You're running against Chris Olechowski, who is counting of Polish votes, and what do you have to offer to for Polish voters? I have really enjoyed working with 
Polish organizations and the Polish community during my first two years in office. I make it to every uh, Polish folk dance recital that I can attend and have been a very strong supporter of the credit union, the Polish Slavic Center, and, and I'm really I'm a great admirer of the Pulaski Businessmen's Association. What I'd really like us to do in Greenpoint is recognize the history of the Polish community in our neighborhood more. I think we should create a Polish cultural district in Greenpoint to recognize the generations of contributions by Polish immigrants to the Greenpoint community. That's a great idea. I've never heard of it. I do think, though, that, that what the Polish community needs in Greenpoint, just like what every community needs, is an independent, hardworking elected official who's looking out for the best interests of their community. And that is what I've tried to provide over my first two years in office, and that's what I'll continue to do if I have the privilege of being reelected. Lincoln Wrestler, thank you very much for joining us in our show. Przypominam, że prawybory do władz lokalnych i stanowych już w najbliższy czwartek. It's, we're going to have a close election this Thursday, September 13th, and no matter who you support, it's important that we, we participate in the political process, and I really hope to see you at the polls on Thursday.